morning, everybody. It seems people in this town here in Steinbach, Manitoba, need to be educated on how flashing lights work. Sometimes the traffic lights uh, don't work properly, right? Red usually means stop, yellow means look out, you're gonna have to stop soon, and green means go. When you have a flashing yellow light, that means you just proceed through cautiously, okay? You just keep going, you don't stop. It just means look both ways to make sure the other direction is stopping because if you have a flashing yellow light, that means that the other direction has a flashing red light. And when you look at their lights and you see that they have a flashing red light, that means they have a stop sign. You just keep going, go on right through it. The flashing red light, you use it like a stop sign. Seems everybody in Steinbach thinks that a flashing yellow light means stop, like a four way stop. Almost causing pileups. I've seen it a couple times now already. Anyways, a little tidbit for you this morning. How y'all doing? I'm doing good. I'm on my way to get my Starbucks. I know. I know, you never thought this day would come. You've never seen me like this, but I am going to get my Starbucks again today. Manitoba is finally getting this much needed rainfall the last day or two. Well, yesterday it rained, it rained pretty good. Maybe not this much, but it was raining. And today, once again, getting that glorious water falling from the sky, helping with our forest fire situations and uh, also with our drought. So we're thankful for the rain. The Starbucks in uh, Steinbeck here is conveniently... What, is your lane not big enough for you, buddy? You needed part of mine, too? Jeez, it's coming straight at me. What was I saying? <laughs> Starbucks drive through Conveniently located. Right by Walmart. It's like a sign. Maybe I should have seen it sooner. Say large. It's going good. How are you? Good, thanks. What can we get first? Could I get a, a large coffee with two cream, please? Yeah, did you want our dark or medium roast? Just uh, medium roast. Medium roast? Okay. And you want a large with two cream? Yeah. Anything else? That's it. Okay, we'll see you around the corner. Thank you. Friendliest people. Friendliest people. I guess they put the friendly in friendly Manitoba here. Just gotta make sure you don't drag your truck against their cement posts. I always gotta like drive past and then drive back a little bit. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, good. Ryan Kendra. Getting some rain finally. <laughs> It's probably going to be all green here pretty soon. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. All right, you too. Yeah. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. You see, at Tim Hortons, now I'm not criticizing Tim Hortons, okay? Don't take it that way. I, I still love Tim Hortons. I, I like the locations in town here. And the people that work there are good people. Uh, but I think what the difference is, now, correct me if I'm wrong, does, does Starbucks have like a set time that they enforce that they have to get you your stuff in a certain amount of time? Because I know at Tim Hortons, because Britt used to work at Tim Hortons, they have like a time limit that they have to get you your stuff in the window. And it's a very short time limit because they want to keep things moving, right? They, they value speed. Uh, so they're, they're always rushing to get you your stuff and maybe they come off as not as chatty and not as friendly because of that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't expect them to be friendly and chatty like that. All like these guys here all the time because I'm not. I'm not a chatty person like that. My wife, she, she will be anyone's best friend. A anyone who meets her, she'll have a full conversation with them. Oh, know everything about them and she'll remember it too. Britt has this amazing memory. When you tell her something about yourself, like 10 years later, she'll remember every little detail. It's amazing. Uh, she's very, very social. 
uh, very good in social situations. Makes friends easy and uh, uh, makes conversation fun to have, right? I'm not as good with conversation. I can talk to a camera all day, but when it comes to like uh, conversation, uh, I'm, I'm sometimes not as socially active. I'm kind of a quiet guy, actually. Depending on the situation and depending who I'm with. I mean, who am I kidding? I'm a loud, obnoxious, annoying guy. <laughs> Let's go drive some trucks. Let's go do that. So I take a different route to work when I go to Starbucks, just because Starbucks is on the other side of town. It's on the north side of Steinbach. So instead of taking the 52 across to the 59 to go up to work, I take uh, I go up through Blumenort and take the 311. That way Starbucks is on my way. Got to take this trailer into Winnipeg. Just a bunch of boxes and random steel stuff. There we go. There's a bunch of boxes and whatever that is. I'm gonna pull this back into Winnipeg. I think that's where it came from. Lights are working back here. Lights are working. Let's check the license plate light. Double check that. It's working. All right. Off to the race as we go. First assignment of the day. Not too sure what's on the agenda after this, but I never really know. Just fly by the seat of your pants. Whatever they need done, I'll get her done. I try to be as useful as possible, like I said in previous vlogs, and uh, so that I know how to do everything. You know, now I'm trained on the picker truck. I can do flatbed, step deck, roll tight, van trailer. If we had a reefer division, I could do that too. But we don't have any reefers here. No refrigerated trailers. So whatever they need me to do. Just throw it my way, I'll get her done. Tell me where it needs to go. Warming up fast already. You know, we're into August now, so we don't really have to worry about this too much yet, but as soon as we get past August into September, it starts getting really cold at night. Well, not really, really cold, that's in October, November, but it starts getting cool and chilly at night and in the morning, and then as soon as the sun gets up into the sky, it gets just cooking hot. So you gotta bring several layers with you everywhere you go. Yeah, I like my shirt. What did I say? If you don't have anything nice to say, say it sarcastically. I think that suits me. <laughs> oh wait, I need to put this back on. Very important. People need to be able to see me so they don't run me over. That would ruin my day. And I don't need anyone to ruin my day. I can ruin it myself, thank you very much. that guy doing who knows all right we're turning right around here we're gonna go around a little loop and head on to the uh, west westbound south perimeter does that make sense I need fresh air blowing around me or I get a headache about a 30 minute drive 20 30 minute drive I gotta bring these boxes to the southwest corner of Winnipeg so I don't got to go around the city just we're on the southeast side right now that's the side that I'm most familiar with since I'm from Steinbeck and I've always been from southeastern Manitoba 
southeast corner of Winnipeg has always been closest to us, right? So that's Transcona, the Kildonans, St. Vitale. Those, uh, those areas have always been where I spend most of my time when I'm in Winnipeg. So that's this whole area in here. And that's why it feels most at home for me. And then from there, the next place in Winnipeg where I would spend most of my time is the southwest corner. Uh, that's where Ikea is. I don't spend a lot of time there, but Ikea is located right beside the world's greatest store, Cabela's. Uh, so obviously I spend some time there. And then the northern part of the city, I'm not... I'm familiar with it because I'm a driver. I, I know it. But uh, Britt grew up in the northwest corner of Winnipeg and the Maples. So she's familiar with that end of the city. We're sort of from opposite ends. She's from the northwest, I'm from the southeast. Though, no, when I say northwest, she's not from northwest Manitoba. We're all, we're both still from southern Manitoba. She grew up in the big city of Winnipeg. I grew up in rural southeast Manitoba, out in the country. And then we met and I pulled her out of the city. <laughs> And now she doesn't want to go back. <laughs> Once you get a taste of country living, you don't go back. So much more peaceful out in the country. But the benefits of living in the city are convenience. Everything is right close by. I can live without that though. Oh, what's going on here? What's going on here? Soccer mom, what are you doing? Soccer mom, you're messing with traffic here. I'm gonna get past this guy now. Oh, you're gonna speed up, you're gonna speed up. Uh-uh. I got more horses than you, buddy. Mr. Volvo. Peterbilt's going front, just saying. That's how the lineup works. Peterbilt's going front. Volvo's in the back. <laughs> I'm not biased at all. What are you talking about? I'm not biased at all. evening here when I'm filming this last clip oh the sky is still not blue you notice that we still must have a lot of smoke in the upper atmosphere because it's clear down here but the sky is it like that where you guys are too you guys noticed anything like that like if you look up right now is the sky blue or is it like this this hazy gray like a light blue but it's not the usual it's got to be the smoke in the atmosphere. So it was a, a Monday. A uh, little bit of a slower Monday. Not much going on, but... You guys want to see the weasel? Diesel. If I don't show you in the vlog, I get all the comments saying, No dog vlog. You know who you are. <laughs> I like it when you comment that because it reminds me that I didn't. I kind of miss having Diesel in the truck with me and Chevy. I've actually got some plans uh, to build a little bit of a platform between the seats, just a removable one out of wood, uh, build a platform between the seats uh, and also in front of the passenger seats. So that whole area, like my seat, passenger seat, everything is sort of like one level area so that diesel could, diesel could come with then on days when I know what I'm doing and I know I'll be in the truck most of the day or like all the whole day and won't be doing other things. Uh, then he could lay down and have a place to lay down and we could still hang out throughout the day, right? So if I'm going on like a long trip, either to Kenora or, or like, uh, wherever, I'd like to have him along. Right, Diesel? You want to go in the truck? Diesel, come here. What do you think? Should I build those little beds in there? Put nice blankets down. Should I make a bed for you in the truck? You can come in the truck with me. I know you guys would like that anyways thanks for watching today everybody just a slow monday hope you all take care and i'll see what i can do i don't have any plans to build those things anytime soon maybe in the next couple of weeks before winter maybe that'd be kind of nice to have them along every now and then not every day but it gets lonely out there by myself
Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.